Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about New York City and how that city has gone really downhill over recent times. More specifically, because of their terrible leadership there, all Democrats, by the way, all liberals have been running New York City for a long time, and their figurehead, their mayor, Mayor de Blasio, has really been duffing things up lately. He's ruined a lot of that city. Crime has gone up intensely. They also had the worst reaction to the virus possible. Many people died from that health scare and are still dying and getting affected, and it's all because this city and the state, for that matter, Andrew Cuomo runs the whole state, and all of New York is liberal-led, and they're really falling apart. And in addition to that, they're not only suffering and struggling a lot this year, but also they've been lashing out and going after Trump and getting really political, supporting some of these very violent rioters and these terrible demonstrations that are attacking America, our history, and our people and it's really getting out of hand. And specifically, we're talking about a story coming from there today, a story about how Mayor de Blasio is hiring city workers. That's right. He's using federal funds, the funds from the city and the state and the government and the taxes, the people there pay, and they're using it to do a protest painting. They're actually painting this thing outside of Trump Tower in New York City. As you can see by this article and this post from The Hill, it says, Breaking Painters start work on Black Lives Matter mural outside Trump Tower in New York City. Now, this is interesting for a number of reasons. You can see this video going on there. And the first thing I notice is these are all city workers. They're wearing city uniforms. They're getting paid by the government. The government is funding this activism. And it's really strange because as we've gone over, like BLM, like to the lay person, it might seem like a simple, like, oh, pro minority cause, but it's actually a very Marxist group designed to be revolutionary and to tear down our country from within. I mean, they've already teared down a lot of things. They've gotten people killed. They've destroyed property, set things on fire. They've also taken down a lot of our statues and committed many, many crimes across the country. But despite all that, the city here, as you can see in the background, they're painting this mural. They're supporting it. They're using the tax dollars to get this thing done. And on top of that, it's outside of Trump Tower in New York City. That's Trump's building. He owns a lot of property. Trump was a businessman before he became president, of course. And he was also a very prominent New Yorker, like one of the most famous New Yorkers. Trump used to be famous for being this big figurehead in the city. He ran a lot of businesses there. He had a lot of friends and contacts. He was on TV. He made cameos in movies. Like He's a big New Yorker. And now they're kind of turning against him because of this de Blasio stuff and probably because of Trump's turn to politics and him kind of, you know, becoming more conservative, more right wing, which isn't the way New York has been going, but he still has a lot of support there. I don't think that's questionable. I think he still has a lot of fans, but there's also this strong, strong liberal base and these radical activists that are supporting BLM, putting down this kind of terrible message and supporting this terrible cause which is rather anti-white, which is the worst part. But the worst part really for me is these government workers hired by the mayor de Blasio misusing the funds to paint this kind of thing. It's so unnecessary. It's like, have these guys go and fix some of the buildings that are falling down out there. Spend some of the money to you know stop some of that crime wave and some of those parks need to be fixed. Like I'm sure they could have better uses of their time and money, but instead they're putting down Marxist messages outside the president's tower. And it's really getting crazy. And that's why I want to talk about it more and go over some more details. This article has them. It says, New York City paints Black Lives Matter in front of Trump Tower. The public art project is the latest battle in a feud between President Trump and Mayor de Blasio. So apparently they've been feuding for a while, whatever that means. I mean, I think de Blasio is just a really woke liberal and Trump has called him out a few times. I mean, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Trump is right. He's ruining New York City. Like we're seeing the deaths there. We're seeing all these cases of COVID and all this stuff just falling apart. So him calling that out isn't like feuding. He's just trying to encourage these leaders to do better and to save our country. He can't do everything. The president tries to help, but he's running a big system federally. He's dealing with international issues. Like these guys need to help him run these cities, but they're really not. New York City painted Black Lives Matter in large yellow letters on the street outside Trump Tower on Thursday. 
the latest flare-up in a years-long feud between President Trump, who rose to fame as a Manhattan real estate developer, and Mayor de Blasio, who once sought to replace him. Mr. de Blasio, who briefly joined activists and city workers to paint the block of Fifth Avenue between 56 and 57 streets in Manhattan, made his intent clear before he grabbed a roller. Black Lives Matter in our city and Black Lives Matter in the United States of America, he said. Let us show Donald Trump what he does not understand. Let's paint it in right in front of his building for him. Now, this is ridiculous. I mean, it's very crazy claim. First of all, why do you have to say Black Lives Matter? It makes it like sound like you didn't think they mattered before. Like, when did you just realize this? Like, when did this come to you? I just don't get this whole, oh, Black Lives Matter now. Black Lives Matter. It's like, uh, yeah, everyone had thought that before. No one thought they didn't matter. So the fact that they bring it up like it's this big revelation, it's questionable on their part. And then the next part is, like, he says Donald Trump doesn't understand this, but I don't see that. Like, Trump supports black people. He has a lot of black fans, and he's done great wonders for their communities where he can. He's raised them into more jobs and gotten more of their unemployment to go away. Their unemployment numbers are down. Like, Trump is a very open base. Like, we have a lot of diversity in the conservative party. They try to paint us as these very, very white, anti-everyone else thing. Like, they act like we're supremacist and ever everything else haters racist but it's just not true like there's a ton of african-american conservatives a ton of them support trump and the fact of the matter is like we know that black lives matter we don't need to say it because we've always known it everyone knows that and the fact that you have to bring it up now it just makes you look bad the mayor went on to help fill in the bottom of the l in the lives as a number of people surrounded him chanting black lives matter and no justice no peace though a few Others nearby also shouted insults critical of him and his administration. Since winning the presidential election in 2016, Mr. Trump has clashed with officials in his former home state, including not only Mr. de Blasio, but Manhattan's district attorney, who issued a subpoena for eight years of Mr. Trump's business and personal tax records. On Thursday, as the painting began, the Supreme Court ruled that Mr. Trump could not shield his financial records from New York prosecutors. Thursday's public art project was announced last month, and city officials have presented its location as a direct rebuke of Mr. Trump, who has repeatedly disparaged those protesting against systemic racism and police brutality in recent weeks. This is just totally wrong. Like, he's not trying to be racist. Like, he's against racism and brutality of all kinds. Police brutality is a highly overblown, exaggerated issue. And systemic racism is just made up bullcrap. Like maybe there's some racism out there, but America's not that bad. And the police brutality is not that bad. Like, for example, only nine unarmed black men were killed by police last year. So that's the issue that they're trying to blow up here and act like it's the biggest and worst thing ever, which is just not the case. It's just not real. There's no examples of systemic racism. And the reason Trump would talk trash about people like this, he talks trash about BLM because they're destroying our country. They're trying to destroy everything. They're tearing down buildings, burning stuff, erasing our history, tearing down our statues. They're pushing this Mark 6 ideology. The leaders have said that straight up. They said they think white people are like animals. They said that they're Marxist leaders that they want to push this SJW stuff, this identity politics, communism, essentially. So we're attacking them for real, actual bad things they've done. Not this, oh, we're trying to go against them because they're trying to stop racism or police brutality. Bogus, bogus claim by the New York Times. This New York Times article is obviously biased. They're obviously trying to side with de Blasio and all the liberals are going against Trump, which is just ridiculous. And yeah, the other thing is like they want his financial records so bad. Like, oh, we want your records. We want your records. Show us your taxes. It's like, who cares, dude? He's president. He's been president for four years. Like, what do you think you're going to achieve by looking at his taxes and his finances? Like, Trump has a right to privacy just like everyone else. Just because you're the president doesn't mean you can't have like little stuff going on in your past, in your business. You have people that you talk to, confidants. You have things that you've done. Like you don't have to list out every single job you've had or every single tax you've paid. It's a, it's a total misnomer. And I think really the reason that they keep going for it is because they know they have no argument and Trump is going to refuse. And they're trying to make that look bad. They're trying to make that look criminal, like implying, oh, he's hiding something. Oh, he's not doing this or that. It's like, no, he is just being defensive as he should. He's using his lawyer's advice. I'm sure he's got plenty of lawyers telling him what to do here. Accountants, you know, all these people are handling his matters. And it's just 
ridiculous to imply, and if it even matters, it's just a total non sequitur. The president is a disgrace to the values we cherish in New York City, a spokeswoman for Mr. de Blasio said in a statement at the time. He can't run or deny the reality that we are facing. Anytime he wants to set foot in the place he claims in his hometown, he should be reminded Black Lives Matter. Uh, Again, everyone knows Black Lives Matter. Uh, Your little campaign and slogan is dumb. This whole thing is just a total photo op. Like, this guy is not painting. He just joined in for this picture. It's just, whoa, crap. It's Black Lives Matter is the stupidest. It's like this organization is fake. They don't care about black people. If they did, they wouldn't be focusing on this non-problem. If they wanted to help the black community, it's very, very easy to do. Focus on where the issues are. More black people are dying by killing themselves and gang fights and shootings and stuff like that than anything else. Like these nine unarmed black men that died last year, that's tragic. No one wants to hide that or defend that. I think it sucks, but it's not the bigger issue. The bigger issue is the crime, the things going on in Chicago, these fatherless households, people not learning, not to, you know, got to learn to follow the laws, respect your elders and authority and not like resist arrest all the time. Like there's a lot of steps here that they're totally ignoring. And that's because they don't really care. They're not really trying to help. They act like Black Lives Matter. They use that name as a buzzword. But it's not what they really care about. They care about getting white people riled up, calling us all racist, tearing down this country, and they want to rebuild it into a communist utopia or something. I mean, that's what Ilhan Omar said herself. She wanted to tear down and dismantle this country. And who knows what they want to make this into. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also, let me get you guys to hit the like button to get this video shared. Also, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell for notifications, and check out our second channel, No BS News. Extra videos are posted there almost every day, so check out the second channel, and until next time, have a great day.